Hey YouTubers, Mo here from Mo's Motorcycle Journey. I got a uh, plug and play rear accessory harness for the 2012 to 2017 Goldwing because I'm actually going to add a light to the bottom here. See how well that works, but uh, I do got the light somewhere. I know it's somewhere. We'll figure out where that's at, but if you're, uh, if you're interested in seeing that process, Stick around. Start the intro. just stumbled across this video click that subscribe button anyways uh, this I believe gets plugged underneath the seat I'm gonna have to remove the seat to do this uh, and I, like I said I got this from wing stuff it does come with uh, little zip ties dielectric grease and the directions which is going to come in handy, I guess, the zip ties and dielectric grease, because this plug, you're going to want to make as much waterproof as you can. From what I've read online, there's a lot of uh, people that this starts to curl because this gets installed in a water area. But yeah, let me show you the, the little light that I got to, to add on the back, because this is just the only thing this is purpose is for and it, i'll show you on the picture here and that's adding these lights down here that's the only thing or i mean lights on the side there or lights up here but that's really the main purpose is adding any extra lights on the back of your bike it starts with this plug right here and let me get my other light here i'll show you so i bought this off i actually got it off ebay I'm hoping that it's gonna work. You got it there, bud? Yeah. Thank you. Okay, now there's the light that I'm gonna add to the back. Now they do make this in chrome. I like the black for this particular bike because there's a lot of black on it. And one day I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm gonna replace that with a black one. But anyways, I actually thought about painting this and I was like, nah, I mean, the, I could paint it the same color as the bike, and that would really set it different, but I figured, no, it, it, it'll look all right black. And this plug actually goes to this plug. That's gonna give this a running light and a brake light, from my understanding. But we gotta put that underneath the seat. So right now, we're gonna put this stuff away, and we're gonna get underneath that seat to to plug this in and then we're gonna have to take off some of the back stuff to, to put this on here we go and of course it comes with the uh, re accessory light plug and play harness it's item number 3230 I loosened up the bolts we're gonna get the seat off real quick I don't think I'm I don't want to take it all the way off I hate taking my seat off well I don't hate it just don't like doing it but yeah, hopefully I can just raise it up a little ways and then work at it. We'll see. Hey guys, I know it's a little dark in here, but this is the right side passenger seat. This thing was buried underneath all these wires. I had to take out two screws, remove this assembly, the wiring assembly, or actually not remove it, but pull it back just to get this out from underneath there. And this is the plug that you're looking for to plug these lights in, okay? It's very difficult, so once you, and I couldn't just lift up my seat, I had to remove it, which was kind of disappointing. However, uh, once you get the seat lifted up, you gotta dig down in here to find those wires, and they are dug down in there. So don't let the uh, directions fool you that they're, it's just sitting right on top like one of these plugs. Uh-uh, it was, it was buried, just so you guys know. Okay, moving along. Here's the new plug that's gonna be going in. 
I'm going to need two hands to do that, so bear with me. Now, it does give you some dielectric grease. Now, there is a coating over one side of this. This one side, I probably don't need the dielectric grease because it's got the little rubber coating over it. However, this side, I'm going to need the dielectric grease and probably tape it with some electrical tape because I don't think I'll be back in here for nothing. But I would just do that just for extra protection, guys. It's worth it. We got it plugged in. We got the other waterproof cover over that. I mean, it's not waterproof, but water protectant cover, to be correct. And I dielectric greased the inside of this one. Now I'm going to run some electrical tape around it just where it clips together, just for some extra protection because it is down by the wheel. And then we are going to take off the rear fender assembly to fish this wire through the rear part. Okay, need two hands, one moment. David, can you shine some light over here, please? I was gonna say, sorry, it's a little dark in here, but so we got her electrical taped. She's, uh, she's pretty taped up pretty good. Um, it's really important to do that, guys. I would not leave that cover exposed or leave this plug exposed without a cover uh, because Honda made this cover on here for a reason. You gotta put something back on that. We are going to slide this back down and fish this wire and then we are going to be uh, taking, going apart at the rear at that point. So here we go. Okay, the next thing is, is we gotta remove this back fender and I know there's two screws on this side and then I think there is some screws up here in the corner we will uh, yep we will do that of course there's an attachment for your license plate light but I also have a LED light wired in there so I'm not gonna take all that off I think I might be able to fish it let me go get a fishing line and see if I can fish that in from the seat to here see if that'll work. The wires fished through. I got them zip tied down, tied together. We're going to get some dielectric grease, put it into this connection, and then we're going to zip tie this a little bit better. Make sure she ain't going to go nowhere. And we're going to tape this connection up and start putting everything back together. Okay, I got her taped up. I just left the center open so I have a area to grab and start peeling the tape off because I am going to add some more lighting so I want access back to this. I also did dielectric grease it. So we're going to tuck this up under. But it's kind of as far away from the weather elements as possible. I mean, it's right behind the rear tire. It's going to get wet. Uh, I'm just going to try to protect it as much as I can plug here everything's tucked back in the screws are put back on just like it was in factory everything's covered back up except for my little LED light for the rear anyways so we're gonna get the seat put that back on I've already went ahead and finished the rear what do you think about that that's the whole purpose of adding this wiring was just for this light and I'm also going to get the ones that go up the sides here. I'll, I'll, I'll definitely do that yet. But we were starting with this to see if I liked it. And like I said, I got it in black. I just, uh, I like the black. Anyways, uh, let's keep moving. Now we just got to put the seat on. Seat's back on. It's going to look nice when I add those other lights. Now that I got the plug and play to where all I got to do is just clip those wires in. And we're good to go. Plus, you know, it gives you more light to be seen at nighttime or during the day. It doesn't matter. Anyways, uh, it actually looks like it belonged on the bike now. Uh, this was a small little job, but there was only four. I, take, I took four bolts out of the seat and four bolts out of the back and just used some electrical tape, dielectric grease, and uh, a Phillips screwdriver and fished the line through. So eight screws is really all you got. Eight bolts, that's really all you got. It's plug and play, guys. It's actually pretty easy to put in. That wire was buried, don't forget. I did mention that in the video. So if you're gonna do it, make sure you pay attention to that wire being buried. That being said, 
again, don't forget, if you don't make the choice, the choice makes you. You guys have a great day and we'll talk to you soon.